guys, welcome back. First of all, my recording's been messing up again. So, um, there was some work done here which I didn't manage to get useful tape. Finished this field. Then it started raining, so I went on to cut the grass in the grass fields. But obviously there's no recording of that. Since it's still raining, we have to continue with the grass. And first up on the agenda, the winner of the giveaway was Jannike. I'll be sending her a message tonight with her code. And second on the agenda today, which is why I'm talking, is a channel update. Uh, a lot of you might have uh, already seen a lot of the updates about this um, YouTube thing and COPPA and the FTC. Uh, a lot of uh, content creators are worried about it. So am I. Honestly, so far it looks like I won't have a YouTube channel come New Year's. Um, if the rules are as they are proposed to be right now, there's no point. Uh, the rules basically say that any content that can appeal to children at all have to be labeled as made for kids even if it's not i don't make my content with kids in mind uh, there's a very large teen and adult audience for these kind of games which i'm a part of and who i make my videos for however the kind of games i make are family friendly uh, accessible for all which means if I don't label them as made for kids I could potentially be found to be lying or wrong worst case scenario that means a fine not likely since I'm not monetized and not in the US but it probably will mean other punishments. So uh, what's the big deal? Why not just label them as four kids? Well, because that get punished too. Um, a lot of people are hung up on the monetization issues with that. I'm not so much since I don't make any money. Uh, but there are a lot of other things they do to those channels. They remove comments, they remove cards or end screens, they remove the ability to put the video in a, in a playlist. And uh, from what they're saying, they are also going to remove the videos from uh, search results and recommended. Uh, what this means is your video is invisible unless the person is already following your channel or find the link to your channel somewhere else your videos aren't going to get found by anyone kids or adults and for a small creator like me just getting started not having big audience 
that basically makes it pointless. There's no point. I'm wasting my time. They make me, um, that would make my channel invisible and I'll never get a bigger audience. So that's why I won't do that. There's just, there's just no point in it. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, I have made a Twitch account and a Mixer account. I will be looking at DLive as it's been recommended from a couple of people and I might just start streaming instead. Uh, I'm really uncomfortable talking to be honest. Uh, English is my second language as you can hear and um, I haven't really spoken it for a lot of years. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird but I might just try and do that. Uh, I have been looking at YouTube alternatives for host making videos and hosting them, but uh, there really aren't any really good ones. Uh, it's kind of hard. I, uh, I have uh, seen PeerTube and DTube, but uh, the reviews on them are very, very mixed. Uh, the bad ones are very bad, so I'm not sure about those. Uh, the other alternative that gets a lot of praise is BitChute. Uh, so I might look into doing streams and uh, maybe using BitChute as some sort of uh, archive all those streams because from what I understand uh, neither Twitch nor Mixer uh, keeps the keeps the stream recording up for long so that might be an alternative uh, of course uh, come there's a there's sort of a deadline to December 9th where people can uh, <coughs> give feedback to the FTC which I recommend you do if you care about uh, YouTube and creators and the kind of content you want to watch. I will put the link in the description to a petition and to the FTC site where you can leave a comment voicing your opinion and why these rules are a bad idea. I will also leave links to a couple of videos uh, that explains this a lot better than I can do where we will see, uh, I mean, a lot of people are brushing it off as oh, the, no big deal, it's just another YouTube apocalypse, nothing will happen. I think this is a bit more serious, the US government is involved. So, I will leave those links, you can check them out. So anyway, yeah, there might be a chance uh, if they change up the rules a bit, make things a bit clearer. Um, for me, the main concern is the visibility of a basically family-friendly content. I don't make content for kids. Uh, I don't want to start playing violence or gory games just to just to stay on YouTube. I like the family-friendly content, even if it's not aimed at kids. Uh, but uh, these new rules, there's no difference. There's just kid and not kid content. There's no family friendly, there's no in between. And that's just wrong in my opinion. So, so yeah, there's a possibility things might change. YouTube might change it a bit. If so, I'll, maybe I'll stay. Um, so far I'm not seeing that much to be hopeful about, to be honest kind of depressing but um, 
But yeah, the main thing for me is uh, that I don't punish uh, the family-friendly creators by making their videos uh, invisible on the platform. I mean, what's the point? Who's even going to to bother putting out videos if they can't even be found through, through searches? And if there is, well, first of all, kids under 13 are not supposed to be on YouTube. They're supposed to be on the YouTube Kids app. And it's parents' responsibility that kids under 13 aren't on this app. So honestly, if anyone's in the wrong here, it's the parents. But it appears YouTube knew there were younger kids here and used that information to sell uh, personalized ads. That from what I can gather is the real issue. Uh, as content creators we have no control over this, we have no insight into this, no power, but we're the ones stuck with the uh, responsibility somehow. So yeah, sorry, this is going to be ramping. I'm all over the place. But yeah, if they change it so that content at least can be found. I, I, don't, I don't see the point of making it unsearchable and not recommended. I mean, if kids under 13 are on the platform now, they're going to continue to be. And if family friendly videos aren't going to be found in search, aren't going to be recommended, <laughs> what kind of content are those kids going to find? Well, the only thing left for them to find is either kids' content that's labeled wrongly, and who is going to label them wrongly? Well, probably people who have the intention of exploiting it. So, kids' content that are not so friendly. And it's going to be the more mature content. Now it's kind of hard to say. A lot of people are saying that, oh, well, this kind of content, this kind of content won't won't fall under this law, etc. But the problem is that uh, both the law, with the description of what is kids' content, and YouTube, it's so vague. It even includes pets and music. If your video contains pets or music, you might be considered aimed at kids. So uh, I'm not. I'm just not going to risk it. Even if I mm, probably won't get fined or whatever, I won't get found either. No one's going to see. It. So why spend hours making a video and put it out there if no one's going to see it? So yeah, that's that's my thoughts so far. Now, next subject in this ranty video is uh, why there's been so messed up. Uh, my videos have been so messed up lately. I've been having some computer issues. Like I said, I've been considering moving on to Twitch and Mixer and maybe DLive. So I have been looking at uh, some... I use OBS to record and I've been looking at uh, some uh, add-ons etc to to OBS to use during streaming labels notification and such uh, and all of a sudden my computer started recording very badly if I uh, recorded in 60 FPS the, the recording was all choppy and pretty much unusable so I adjusted the settings down to 30 FPS uh, and I'll be trying to figure out what was wrong so I can get better quality videos. Uh, I I finally removed all the streamer related stuff and went back to pretty much the vanilla OBS. And now it seems to be working fine. Uh, this is the first uh, more long lasting test of it. But... Um, 
so far it seems to actually have 60 FPS and not uh, blowing the CPU, which it was doing. So hopefully that will be, be sorted at least. Yeah, so that's why uh, this video was supposed to come out on Friday, but uh, the recording for that was broke, it was unusable. So uh, I'm doing it now, and today was supposed to be the Marble Manor video, uh, I'm going to have to postpone that. I'm not sure. I might be able to record it later tonight and get it out sometime. Yeah, I don't know. I need to edit um I should have the old stream farm video for Monday ready. It's all a bit messed up. But uh, anyway. Here we are at least. I've been having the issues I have with my computer. Uh, I don't know how it will do with streaming. We just have to test it and find out, I guess. Uh, looks like I won't be having any fancy notifications or overlays and such, but that's no big deal. that I also had a, my second computer screen was messed up so I had to return it so right now my extra screen is a tiny little TV it's not really the best it's not really giving me the best uh, best picture but uh, the most important thing is I can see OBS running and working. Wow! I really like this map, but these yards are so tight. It's a little bit annoying. It's probably meant for some smaller equipment than this, but hey. So yeah, anyway, was, I really felt I needed to do an update, um, talk about all this. I, uh, oops, wrong I really hope you will uh, consider following me on Twitcher and or Mixer or DLive and uh, if you're interested in following my content uh, it would, should be a bit more interactive I guess if I start streaming it uh, I'll leave links to my channels in the description check it out if you want uh, you can also join my Discord. Uh, some very nice people in there. We, we really mostly discussing all this copper business and the future of our YouTube channels and such. Last days. No, I'm not the only one that's worried so yeah this isn't very realistic uh, doing the grass work in the rain but since it's pretty much the only thing I can do right now unless it's raining and I can't harvest in the rain it's 
better than just sitting around waiting for it to stop, I guess. Uh, since I usually do time lapses, um, I usually play for about an hour, uh, which gives me between 13 and 14, 15 minutes time lapse. But uh, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna make this video, but I do think. I'm going to time lapse this part. I'm not going to make you watch me do all this in real time. Sorry, that's my phone. Telling me that someone is live on Twitch. So, yeah, I'll. Uh, Try to get unstuck here and I'll see you again after the time. I got blood on my hands right now And I'm stumbling through the dark in the dawn I have found new ways But no, I can't be the one that you need Change my mind.
Kind of doesn't fit, but uh, I'm there for now. Probably going to need to lease a bale collector to get those bales in. We get the uh, Some issues with this map getting visuals around. Let's see. Had something caught in my wheel. Very nice. Keep going. All right, let's see. There's one grass bear down here. I remember. Not pulling it up. Whoops, yes. Sort of. Okay, let's get this done. Might be buying some cows. Not too not too long away. Might just keep these. There we are. Yeah, so I probably uh, going to end this. Uh, video soon so I can get it edited and get it out tonight since uh, it's already been such a delay uh, I hope you'll check out the links in the description uh, follow me on Twitch or Mixer um, I haven't got anything on there yet because I haven't streamed, but uh, I'm hoping to test it out really soon. See if we can get it to work. I'd love your feedback on anything. Uh, if there's anything you want to see in a future video, there's something you want me to do. Uh, I'll probably I'll try and keep making some videos for YouTube, uh, at least until we know more about uh, this whole FTC COPPA issue and uh, what the rules and stuff are actually going to be. But uh, if I manage to start streaming, that will take away some of the time I used to use on making the videos. So we'll. We'll just see. Um, how we're going to do it. So yeah. That's just the way we got to it I guess until we know anything more um, oh yeah uh, I was actually told that you can uh, 
transfer all your YouTube videos over to BitChute. But they will do that uh, if you if you open an account. But um, so I was considering doing that, but uh, the music I use on my videos are uh, uh, the copyright is just for YouTube, uh, so I can't do that. So if uh, if everything goes through the way it's looking now with the uh, copa rules etc uh, I will have to put all my videos in either private mode or for kids only so you nobody will find them anyway or probably just delete them but it really depends on how how the specific rules turn out to be I, I can't really say for sure right now. So yeah, but uh, I think that's it for now. I'll uh, finish it off here and uh, get to editing this video, get it out. I'll see what else I get uh, done tonight if I can uh, get some recording done or something but uh, yeah thank you for watching listening to my ramblings and uh, I'd love to hear your your feedback so yeah thanks for watching